साहिब जीओ मेहरबान साहिब मेहरबान साहिब मेरा मेहरबान जी सगल को दे दान रहो तू काहे डोले प्राणिया तुद राखेगा सिर जनहार जिन पैदा इस तू किया सोई दे आधार जिन उपाई मेदनी सोई करदा सार कट कट मालिक दिलादा सच्चा परवदिगार कुदरत की मन जानिए वड्डा वे परवाह कर बंदे तू बंदगी जिचर कट मह साहो तू समरथ अकथ अगोचर जियो पिंड तेरी रास रहम तेरी सुख पाया सदा नानक की अरदास सदा नानक की अरदास तन तन साहिब श्री गुरु ग्रंथ साहिब जी दी हाजरी विच बैठी सा संग जी आओ पद दी सांझ पाओ जी वाह गुरु जी का खालसा वाह गुरु जी की फतेह वेरी ब्लेस्ड रे सा संग जी आफ्टर अबाउट टू एंड अ हाफ इयर्स वी हैव गॉट टू द एंड ऑफ द पंच बाणी स्टार्टेड इन अबाउट मई टू 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 एंड अ हाफ इयर्स अगो and now in december near the end mars blessed us to get the the 40th body of anand sahib so the katha she going for that long it seems like a long time ago but it also still doesn't seem that long ago as well so mars ji kripa go to the panch baniya and after this we will go through rera sahib and then obviously kitan sahib sa pura nit name ho jave in this body the last body today panch going to do the santhi of it just to read out the gurmukhi and those that don't know there is santhya class happening in this gurdwara and there is santhya even available on our channel as well so jis sanu gurmukhi nahi aandi padni te sanu koshish karni chahiye hai ki sikhan di so guru maharaj has already blessed the panth with so many teachers so many people to teach us how to read gurmukhi and not only that they bless us with gurmukhi itself asi gurmukh banna chahande hai ge sanu gurmukhi sikhni chahiye hai gurmukhi and gurmukh are very similar we want to be a gurmukh and we should learn gurmukhi they related the two of them hana huh? is a reason why they so they call the same thing so gurmukh nadang gurmukh vedang gurmukh rahaya samai we're going to talk about a shabad today understand that maharaj when they mean the shabad they also mean in the guru's words pronouncing it how guru sai wants it that's the meaning of the word nad gurmukh nadang the sound of the actual gurmukhi will help us to get absorbed in gurmukhi and that's why in this body maharaj starts off but okay, we go through the body now and then we go through it pankti va pankti haan ji satnam sri vahi guru sahib ji o anad sunho vad paaki ho sagal manorith pure pa सतगुर रहया 
पर पूरे बिनवंत नानक गुर चरण लागे वाजे अनहद तूरे मारसेस अनद सुन हो वड पागी हो सगल मनोरथ पूरे गुरु महाराज दिस वर्ड अनद एक्चुअली मीन्स अनंत दैट यू मीनिंग इज अनंत बट इट्स रिटन एज अनद एंड खुज इज वेट एज अनद एंड वी टॉक्ट अबाउट संथिया वी शुड प्रोनाउंस इट एज अनद अदरवाइज वो हैपन्स इज यू नो वी से अनंत सुन हो वड पागी हो मीनिंग इज अनंत हमारे इज रिटन अनद Now, why should we read it how it's meant to be written? Firstly, because it's written that way. Guru Sahib's hukum is written that way. The second thing is there are slight differences in Bani. They help to wake us up. We keep our mind focused on how to pronounce everything. Slowly, slowly, we'll keep it will go into us, but it will keep us awake a little bit because it's very easy sometimes when you're tired to just rata kar ke Bani just read it off. But when there's slight differences, like in Arti and in the the same body, Sodar, right, comes up in Rara Sahib and Japji Sahib. But there's differences. The same body comes up, the same part comes up in Rara Sahib when we uh, sorry in Kitan Soila, when we turn Asri Mahela Pella, when we sing Gagan Mein Thal Rav Chand Deep Bag Bane, and it comes up in Arti as well. But there's differences in both. There's small differences, and these small differences keep us on our toes. So it's good to keep on our toes by just remembering how it's actually written and pronounce it in that way. So Maharaj says Anand, and here it means Anand Suno. Now, Vadapagi Ho. Vadapagi Ho. We know that means lucky people. Isn't it really mean lucky people? It means that there are pag again, and the pag means our fortune. What was written for us when we were born, the lekha that we came with, that we are the people that have come with this Vadde pag. Right, so our destiny was big when we came here upon the earth as a Sikh. Whoever listened to Aran Sahib now, they've actually the fact that we listened to Aran Sahib means that our destiny is big already. Because had it, had we not had that big destiny, we never would have heard the bani of Guru Nanak Dev Ji or Guru Amar Das Ji. So the fact that we are here in the Gurdwara, listening to part, listening to Aran Sahib, listening to such a bani of Guru Amar Das Ji Maharaj, that means we're already lucky. So who is Maharaj talking to? He's talking to all of us who are listening to this right now. Maharaj says Anand, Anand, and it means Anand here. Anand, Suno, Vade Pagi Ho. Maharaj reminding us that sometimes you know in the in Punjabi Punjabi community when you say to people you know you should follow Sikhi to see कुछ करो, they say मेरे ते पाग मेरे पाग नहीं. They go I'm not so lucky yet. People excuse their own unwillingness to follow Sikhi by saying I'm not so lucky. But Maharaj is saying, "You are lucky, because the fact that we're listening to the Bani means we are lucky. So we can't use that excuse. Already had a couple of birthday bag hagene, है ना? जैसे एक और बर्थडे पार्क हैगेने, तो फिर सानू कुछ करना चाहिए दो दे बारे, because that's like being very lucky and then doing nothing with it. You know, we're blessed already. Then let's put the blessings to use and let's progress in Sikhi. So Maharaj says, "Anand, suno ho." Now this here, the word Anand here. Can talk about the song of bliss, but actually he's talking about Anand Sahib. You see, it's right at the very end of Anand Sahib. So I'm saying Anand, Anand Sahib, listen. You just listen to Anand Sahib, listen to the part really properly, listen to it. Anand, listen to him, what a bag you. You who have listened to Anand Sahib are lucky, and anybody who listens to Anand Sahib is lucky. I'm not saying listen to this part. Just like at the end of Sukhmani Sahib, Maharaj starts talking about. What will happen to those people that listen to this part? In the same way, you know, Anand Sahib Maharaj is saying, "What will happen to us if we listen to Anand Sahib? If we read it every day? Next week, we're going to go through the meanings of the Panch Baniya and what they, what the meaning of each one is, and the deeper essence, what it gives us as medicine. It's kind of like Maharaj is prescribed to us Panch Goliya, five medicines in the morning. And obviously, the doctor, when you go to the doctor and you say, 'Look, I'm a bit unwell.'" He gives you five medicines. You're gonna say, oh, "Which? What does? What does each one do?" And the same way, next week we're gonna go through what does each one really give us every morning to help us get better. 
So we might have to look at the disease as well, work out what the disease is. But here, Mara says, what will you get from reading this part? Mara says, Anad Sanoho, Vadapagi Ho. What will happen? Sagal Manorath Pure. Sagal means everything, all. Manorath. Manorath means the desires in our heart. Mano, from the heart, we have desires in our mind and our heart. Deep down, we have desires. Everybody who comes to Gurdwara, they say, oh, I just want to do seva. But deep down, we do have a desire. We have a desire that we have happiness, we have sukh, that we have a good life, that we get these char padharat. Char padharat kalo. The padharat <coughs> in India they call it char padharat char e pai. From Gurmani you will get all four, which is starts off with taram to be a righteous person, art to have money, to have some wealth, kaam as in to have married life, family life, and then moksh mukti. So these four things are what tradition people say. Mara says, the, all the desires of your mind, sagal manorat, pure. Pure means to be completed. So where we, in the world, where we have desires, and we go to the world with the same desire, instead of coming to Gurbani, if we go to the world instead, those things will never be completed. The desire in your heart for happiness will never become complete, because the world will always let you down. You will go to the world, you'll ask for happiness, and happiness will be there temporarily, but then it will flee. And then you wonder, what happened to this happiness that I was content with? Anything you look at, whether it's um, relationships, whether it's a job, whether it's houses, all these things are always subject to change. In the world, when you get these things and you're happy, then you're holding on to them with a bit of fear. I remember reading some article this week, and there was a, a famous um, singer, and she was saying that oh, my life is perfect. She goes, I got, I got a great family, I got money, I got babysitters, I'm happily married. And she goes, who wouldn't be jealous? I was thinking a Gursik wouldn't be too jealous. But she didn't understand that. Why? Why wouldn't they not be so jealous? Because all those things that she has right now, where she gets happiness from, they could all go from her tomorrow. Samajah Mirika. You know that, and I, all the things she named just then, we don't want to wish bad on anybody. Definitely not. But let's say those things are taken away from her. Where's the happiness gone? Okay, no? Whereas what Guru Sahib is giving us here, it is the solution to have a happiness, whatever happens to you. And it won't leave you. Sagal manorat pure. All the desires that we have, they become fulfilled. And we get blissed out from that as well. Maharaj is saying, Because he will fulfill everything that you want. But most importantly about Guru Maharaj is he even changes the wants that we do have. We come here with a bunch of undesirable wants. We come here with mare, mare icha. We come here with the wrong desires. And Guru Maharaj teaches us, as a child will be taught by the parents, the child, this is not good for you. They're going to keep wanting to eat the bad food and the parent will say, this is not good for you, it's going to make you unwell. And the child, if it trusts the parent, will change his desires. To something otherwise, because they want to also, they, if they trust the parents, they will say, Chalo, I don't want to become ill. So in the same way, our Guru Maharaj, when we come into the Gurdwara, they teach us, what are these manurat that we should have? Maharaj says in Bani, Mangana, Mangana Nika, Harjas Gurte, Mangana. They say, go ahead, beg, ask from your Guru, Mango. We come here with the Mangte Banke, we are Gari Mangte from our Guru. Maharaj says, Mangana, Mangana Nika. Nika means beautiful. What is the beautiful thing to ask for? What is the right thing to ask for? Maharaj says, Harjas Gurte Mangana. To come to the Guru and ask him for Harjas. Just means praise. Har is Vaheguru. Ask Guru Maharaj, Maharaj, bless me to praise God. You might think it's strange to ask to praise God. The rest of the religions out in the world say, Praise God. Praise Him. But the six says, Maharaj, I don't know how to praise God. You bless me to praise God. Who should I pray to? I don't even understand. Guru Arjan Deji Maharaj, in such beautiful ways, they go, that, Har arad na janare. They go, I don't know how to worship God. They go, Har arad na janare. Har har gur gur kartare. They say, I come here and I just say, Vahe Guru, Vahe Guru. And I say, Guru, Guru. And Guru Maharaj can bless us to praise God. So the right desire to have 
Guru Maharaj would change the desires inside us and help us to come towards the right desire. And what will happen? What is the ultimate desire that we can have? Maharaj explains that in the next Pankti. Par Brahm. Par Brahm means the ultimate infinite Lord who is beyond this world. The Supreme Lord God. Par Brahm Prabh. Again, another word used for God. Par Brahm Prabh Paya. The ultimate desire that we can have inside us, the best desire to have, is to find Vahiguru. And if by Guru's grace we get that desire, if we get that desire that we want to find Vahiguru, and then Maharaj can complete that desire. Of all the desires to have, is the desire to merge with Vahiguru. Jinko lagi prayas amrit sehi khai. Maharaj says, if you have that desire to find Vahiguru, if you have the right desire for God, then you will actually become immortal. You won't even die. Whenever there is death, there must be rebirth. Because a soul can't sit in limbo. Our friends outside from the Christian, the Muslim and the Jewish faith, they believe that once you die, you sit in limbo, waiting around until the final judgment day. People in the Islamic faith, the Christian faith and Jewish faith, they believe that when you die, you will be waiting around in limbo and then on one day there will come the day of judgment and on that day of judgment, everybody will get judged at the same time. But we don't believe that. We believe that when you die, you get judged straight away. The soul only has two options. Either escape from reincarnation or go back into reincarnation. So either it's gonna, if it dies, it's going to get reborn. But those that don't die, that get Amrit, they become immortal. Mrit means death. Amrit is the opposite of death. Amrit means immortality. Why don't they die? Because the body dies, but the soul does not go back into reincarnation. They don't actually die. They carry on living. That consciousness just increases. Previously they might have remembered only this life. But they die, they remember this life, and they remember all their previous lives at the same time. And their consciousness increases, but it does not go back into the life cycle again. So this is the ultimate benefit of Sikhi. That you get to live on forever. Amrit. How? Just have the desire. Sirf chaadi lord hai. That's all we need is that desire. Maharaj ki, don't let me die. Don't let me even be reborn. Let me live on forever. When we have that desire, we come to our Guru and Maharaj can fulfill that desire. Par Brahm, Prabhapaya. When we achieve the Supreme Lord God by worshipping Him, by coming to our Guru, reading Anand Sahib every day, Maharaj says, Uttre Sagala Vesure. Uttre means to remove, to be removed from us. Uttar Jange, what will become? Sagal Vesure. Again, Sagal, all. Not just a little bit. Guru Maharaj is not saying that I'll, I'll just take like 50% away, 30% away. They're offering all of it. They don't hold anything back from us. Imagine Maharaj has come with all powers of God. Aap Narayan Kalatar Jagmeh Parivaryo. All the powers of God are in Guru Granth Sahib Ji. And Guru Granth Sahib Ji, this is Bani we're talking about. Guru Granth Sahib Ji can remove all of our sorrows. Visure means sorrows. Maharaj they can remove all of our sorrows. Uttre Sagal Visure. Sasani, last week when Bible teaching came down, the week before that, he was talking about the idea of Pai Matida sitting there, going to be sold in half, and his blood is spurting out from his head. And he's saying, Arai Pyara. Pai Matida is being cut in half from top of his head, the worst pain that any of us could imagine. To see back at Soslo, imagine being chopped this way while you're still awake. And he's saying, Ara is Pyara. Mithaya bot. They go, just do one thing, face me towards my Guru. That's all. Is to hoard the course. That's the dunya which. Maharaj said, Uttre sagal visure. Imagine the blessing of our Guru that Pai Matidas was able to read Japji Sahib at that time. Not scream, shout, but read Japji Sahib. Pai Satidas was able to be burnt in Delhi 1675 
not scream or shout, not run around. They chained him to the ground. They tied him with ropes and he didn't even move. Uttre sagal visuri. We've heard about the Shaheed Singhs even after 84. There were Singhs, it was late night. They'd been tortured. Their eyes had been pulled out, their, out of their head. And he asks the jailer, he goes, what time is it? The policeman laughs. He goes, Tanuki Feather, you lost your eyes now. We pulled your eyes up. We tortured you. Why do you want to know what time it is? He says, Shamda Villa Haga, maybe it's Rara Sadha. Imagine the power of our Guru's Bani. When the, in our history, this thing has come again and again and again, the Sikhs have shown true Chardikala. True Chardikala. That in the middle of Dukh, they shine. Jonar Dukh Me Dukh Nahi Mane. In Dukh, they don't see Dukh. Maharaj is saying, talking about these people, these are the kind of people we can become by reading Anand Sahib every day. Maharaj says, Par Brahm Prabhupada, you will achieve Vaheguru. Uttre Sagale Vesure. All your Dukh will go away. Dukh Rog Santap Uttre. Again, the same thing, Mara explaining to us even further what you will get. Mara says, Duk, all your duk, all your pain. Rog, all your diseases. Rog means disease. What kind of rogues that we don't even see that we have? Kam, krod, lob, mo, ahankar. In Mayada rog. We don't even see that his eyes. What we talked about earlier, the Guru is a doctor, he gives us medicine. What's the biggest disease we have? Mara says, Homme diragaroga hai. Homme, this ego that we have, not hankar, even deeper than hankar. Homme, the, the thing that we are separated from God. This idea that we are not one with God. Opposite of par brahm prabhaya. The opposite of par brahm prabhaya is me, me, ho, ho. Homme, homme. Me, I, me. Mara says, Homme diragaroga hai. Darupi ismai. How do we get to get rid of the homme? We give it away. You can't say ignore it. You have to give it away. The only way to get rid of the ego is to give it to somebody else and listen to them. I give it to your Guru. Guru Maharaj can take that ego. Man beche sat guru ke paas tis seva ke karaj ras. So much blessings we can get if we simply give ourselves to our Guru and decide not to follow our own mat but follow the Guru's mat. Maharaj is telling us, Dukh Rog. This Dukh that you have, the biggest Dukh we have, is a Dukh of wanting desire. Even a little bit of desire gives us Dukh. Even the Buddha said the same thing. He said, desire is pain, because it's always going to remain unfulfilled. The only desire that can be fulfilled by our, that can be completely fulfilled for us, is the desire for Sikhi, the desire for Nam. That Guru Maharaj can bless us with. Dukh Rog. Santab. Santab means fever almost. The fever and the suffering. What kind of fever and suffering? In your life, when we've been through periods of suffering, what's been going through us? Normally, it comes out of the panchor as well. Again, it's either our desire that's been hurt, it's either our family members, some kind of moho, some kind of attachment to our family, all the things we go through, all these things, they all come down to the panchor. Mara says, that's Santap, the Santap of Maya. In Sukhmani Sahib, Guru Nidhi tells us what is hot and what is cold. When you're in fever, you go through hot. Mara says, Kal tati thanda har nao, simar simar sada suk pao. They go, their kaljug is hot. It burns like a fire. Even in Rara Sahib now, we read, Mara says, Mother says you make your house in this ocean, in this sarvar, in the sarovar you make your house. Why did they say that? Because no house on a sarovar will ever be permanent. You make your house in a pool of water, what is that water? Fire. It's actually fire. We're living in a world of fire and we love it. We think it's great. We're burning inside it. Mother says, no, it's not for you. Naam is that thandas. Naam is that cooling. 
power of Nam will take away the fire of Kaljuk. Mara says, Dukh rog santap utre. How? Suni sachi bani. By listening, so I say, imagine the power of Bani. We haven't even started to live upon it. Mara says, Sun lo ekwari. Just listening to Bani will take away so much pain. It's like medicine. Imagine you see somebody who can't, who's dying, and what would we think we want to do for them? If you see a Gurmuk, a Gurusik, the best thing to do that then is read part to them. Straight away they get shant. There was a story, I'll go through it quickly. There was a guy who came to see Baba Hanam Singh once. He was quite unwell. His family had gotten fed up with him. He was an old guy. Family got fed up with him. He had just sitting all day, he would watch TV all day long. And what they started to do is say to him, Ki naam japyaga. This person was not very bright, he'd kind of gone a bit on the insane side. But every day he would just start jumping naam all day long, jumping naam, jumping naam, jumping naam, wahiguru, wahiguru, bani, all day long, just listen to bani. And his, his condition improved so much, he didn't even realize how much bakshish he's getting. His bakshish went through the roof, he would listen to bani all day long, and then suddenly all the things that he couldn't do before he started to do. His diseases started to remove themselves from his body. Physical diseases we have, but we also have other kind of diseases, mental diseases, even they can leave. Depression in this country is now diagnosed as a disease. What is the opposite of depression? Anand. Simple, isn't it? Anand is the complete opposite of depression. Somebody is Jardikala, they can't be depressed. Mara says even that depression can go because Maharaj will cut away the thing that makes you dukhi. The situation might not change. But your reaction to that situation might totally change. Before the thing that caused you pain, what do we always want, Sahasangaji? We always want the situation to change. We come here to Guru Maharaj and we say, Maharaj, do a miracle, change the situation. Maharaj says, How about I change you? Huh? What's more powerful? The situation changes, imagine the situation changes and you become happy, and then something else comes in and you're duk, you come become dukhi again. That's worse, isn't it? So you are, we are asking for something which doesn't solve the problem. But Guru Maharaj gives us something that could solve the actual problem. By changing our inside, then we are going to remain Sukhi the whole time. No matter what happens afterwards. Guru Maharaj is not here to show miracles. They have shown miracles. I'll tell you a funny miracle. There was a Panji once. She was very unhappy with her sus. sus, sus she had a very unhappy with her sus. Now I'm not, I'm not saying this to anybody, I just heard this story, I just tell it to you. And she wasn't a very nice lady, this lady. She did Sukhni Sai for 40 days. She thought, Chalo, Kush Maharaj Kirpa Karenge. On the 40th day, she did Ardaas, Pog Paya, her sas passed away. You might laugh, but it's still Guru Sahib's Hukam, whatever happens in the Hukam. Now imagine, obviously, she was obviously like blown away by the power of Bani. <laughs> but Sasaji, even leaving that aside, the point is that Bani has got power, it can do both things. Maharaj can change the situation, make it better. Maharaj can also do something else, they can change you. So this, the situation does not affect you anymore. They can give us a strength to bear what is unbearable. Or he can change the unbearable. It's up to him. What he does do though, is he gives us that love and the affection for his Pana. So we live in his hukam and we have been in his hukam. And Mara says, all this happens by listening to Bani. Not just listening to it as we do nowadays with the radio on in the background. They see radio Lalo, 6.30 is Rara Sahib time. People walk around the house, Rara Sahib is playing. That is not Suni Sachi Bani. Suni Sachi Bani is when we're actually sitting down and we're listening to what is being said really carefully. And I tell you, for so many of our lives, so much of our lives, we come to Gurdwara. And I can tell you that from the youth nowadays, they come to Gurdwara and they're not listening to Bani. It's background music to them. They come down, they sit down, they don't listen to it, they don't understand it. To listen to something means you must understand it as well. You can't listen to something that you don't understand. If you put on a Russian chat channel on your home, no one will understand it. Punjabi now, the kind of Punjabi we speak from the Gurdwara stage, it's not the kind of Punjabi that our kids are used to. Our kids are used to the kind of Punjabi they get at home from the daddy or their grandmother saying, Jao lekia, chal mere naal chal. Simple Punjabi. They're not used to spiritual Punjabi. Atma ka vastari galla. 
They don't understand that in Punjabi. So on the Gurdwara stage, what is being said, they don't understand it too well. Someone needs to dumb it down for them, explain it to them. And when we explain it to them, then they're listening to Bani. Until they've understood it, they haven't listened to it really. Suni Sachi Bani. Listening and comprehension, and actually, in a way, when we tell our children off, we say to them, why don't you listen? There's another meaning of the word listen. We say, why don't you listen? We don't mean the word listen there. We mean, why doesn't what I say stick to you? So to really listen to something, it must stick to our head. And sometimes we even tell our children off, Kitu Miriga Sundani means you don't do what I tell you to do. It's actually a bit of action including in listening as well. It's active listening, it's doing. If you tell someone, don't touch that, it will burn you, and they touch it anyway, you're more likely going to say, why didn't you listen to me? So listening includes taking the advice of the Guru as well. It doesn't mean just listening and going in this and not doing it. It means taking that advice on properly, giving it the value of what Guru Sahib is giving it. It is for us Guru. It is for us the truth come down from God. This Bani is not just a normal Bani. Yeah? Maharaj says, Kabir Sahib says, Loka jane eh geet hai, eh to brahm bichar. This is the ultimate contemplation of God. Don't treat Bani as any other Bani. What Bani says, if you do it, you get so blessed. Because Bani is Sachi Bani. Suni, Sachi Bani. So many things in this world are full of lies. One thing that's got no lies inside it is Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj. Koi bhi cheez dekh lakin mi galti hai inside it. But nothing, there's no galti in Bani. There's no mistake in Bani. Pul and andar sabko, apul guru karta. Guru and Vaheguru can't make mistakes. Guru Granth Sahib Ji has got no mistakes inside it. Have your faith in Guru Granth Sahib Ji and then listen to Gurbani. Sant Sajan Pai Sar Se Pure Gur Te Jani Mahara says, the Sant, the Saints, Sajan, friends. Mahara says, there's the Saints and my friends. Why do they make this distinction? Well, on the one way, the best friends we can have are the Saints. The best friend any of us can have is somebody who is a Gursikh and a Mahapurk. Imagine that kind of friend. Huh? That's the best friend to have because obviously if they're doing so much Kamai, it's going to rub off on us as well. Those friends that help us to go forwards, Mara says that in their mind they go, So Sajjan, So Meet Hamare, Jo Hanko Ram Nam Chitari. Those are my friends, those are my real beloveds who inspire me to remember Vaheguru's name. Same way for us. If the saints, they should be the best friends, but also Santa Sajan. The friends of the saints are also blessed. The people that hang out with the Saad Sangat. Now, not everybody in the Saad Sangat is a saint. But the Saad Sangat are a totality of people, with some Mahapuriks and the rest trying to follow the, what they're doing, they become holy. The whole Sangat becomes holy. So, Santa Sajan Pei Sarse. Now, this word Sarse, we should try and say it. Sarasi. Sarasi. The meaning of the word has been a bit changed. Now, there's a Baba in India who starts to confuse people and he says that the Sant will come from Sarse. Sarse wala Baba. He says he's got a Dera in Sarse, in this place in Punjab. And he says that from this place, Guru Maharaj is predicting the Sants will come out of that. You see, so because we don't understand Bani, we go, oh, Sarse means that place, Sarsa. No. Sarase. Ras means flavor. Saras means all the flavors. All the flavors, all the joys, all the all, means happiness basically are in ecstasy. They get all the pleasure. Sarase. Pure sas. All the ras. Sarase. And this word sarase also comes with Pai Nanlaji. Pai Nanlaji writes in their mind, they talk about the Vaheguru Mantra. They go, Sar Mantar Charo Ka Char. Vaheguru Mantar Nirtar. They go the mantra that is the essence of all four mantras. We know these four mantras, they come up in Pai Gurdashi as well. They talk about the Vava, the Haha, the Rara, and the Gaga together making Vaheguru. Maharaj says, uh, Pai, uh, Pai Nandaji says, Sar Mantar Charo Ka Char, Vaheguru Mantar Nirtar. They say Kalap Kalap. Kalap means an age, a jug. Kalap Kalap Prat Achar Kehi. Sri Guru Nanak Japyo Sahi. 
They go in every age. Why Guru Prab gave Prat Akhar Kehi? They gave one Akhar, and Guru Nan Dev Ji recognized the Sahi Mantar, the ultimate Mantar. Why Guru? They go Kalap Kalap Prat Akhar Kehi. Sri Guru Nanak Japio Sahi. What is the what is the value of this Why Guru Mantar? They go Nij Atam Paramatam Darsio. In your Atma, Nij Atam is in your own soul. Paramatam Darsio. You will get Darshan of Paramatma. And they and they nij atam paramatam darsyo char mantar char kalap mein mantar sarsyo. They go in all the four ages. This mantar sarsyo is full of all the ras, all the pleasures. The word the um, all the mantras have a little bit of a different flavor inside them. Rara Ram is quite a b ras mantar. Ram Ram is a warrior mantar. But Maharaj is saying the Wahi Guru Mantar comes with it with all the ras, sarasyo. So make sure we don't say this word too much like sarasyo, because we're going to be saying we're going to say saras. This word is sarasyo, sarasy, sarasy. Sant Sajan Pai sarasy pure gurte jani. That the perfect Guru, the complete Guru, can let us know this ras. The Guru is the one who can give us this ras of Ananda, of all the types of bliss in this world will come to us. Sant Sajan Pai, the saints are full of bliss, they are full of happiness. Why? Pure Gurtajani, they found the true Guru, they found Wahi Guru through Gurbani, and now they are in bliss. And then Maharaj is going to explain in the next Rupanki, and before we go into that, we're going to have a bit of Kirtan. Why is Kirtan important? Because singing Bani is part of Anand Sahib as well. Maharaj said that Avo six of the Guru Ke Pyaryo Gavo Sachi Bani. And in this Shabbat, we're going to look at the power of Bani, take away our pain. We come to Gurdwara, we come with our Dukh, but we don't realize we've been given the Sukh. Dukh par har Sukh kar le jai. Guru Maharaj is blessing us with the Sukh. If only we knew how to listen to his advice. If only we realize that this Bani is the medicine. Sometimes we go to a doctor and we get a prescription. We know the prescription is not going to make us better. We go to the chemist and we get the medicine from the chemist and now we trust the medicine. One thing to understand of our Gurbani is that if you go to Guru Maharaj and he's giving you the prescription, this Gurbani, the Gurbani is also the medicine. It's a unique prescription. It actually by reading part, you will feel better. By reading Bani, you will feel better. And there's a Sikh I know recently, he kept his case. He said, you know, one day, I got up in the morning, I did Ishnan, I did Japji Sahib. Because that was one of the most productive days of my university degree. I got so much done. He hasn't even had the Ananda Bani. He's now realized, by reading part, his brain becomes more focused. And he started keeping his case. Why did he do that? He said, well, if I can get this much, just by reading part, imagine what I could get. If I start to follow part, yeah. there's many many pagats. If you look at pagat uh, Prahlad ji, he was doing pagti and people kept troubling him, and he started doing pagti. People started troubling him. He started thinking, well, no, sorry, true. Pagat true. He was offered money by his uh, father to not do pagti. He said, I'll give you half my kingdom. He said, well, if I did pagti and I got half a kingdom just by doing this much pagti, surely I should do even more pagti. He said, well, it's silly of me to give up now. I should carry on going. Because what am I going to get if I carry on going? Only a couple of months they gave me so much. Let me carry on. This is the kind of thing we should have in our mind. If we get a bit of joy from Simran, then let's do even more. Imagine what more we would get. So in this Shabbat, is uh, of, of uh, sorry, it's by Guru Nidhi Maharaj. Maharaj starts talking about what they will give us if we start to jump now. Maharaj says, Avar, avar upab. Avar upav sab tyagya, daru naam leya, taap paap sab mite rog, vahegru taap paap sab mite rog, sital man paya. They say, I've given up all the other upav. Upav means clevernesses, trickery, other things, trick, whatever we've tried to do, any other efforts I've given up. Now what do I do? Daru naam leya. I take the medicine of naam. You may have tried other things in this world. Other things, we might have looked for happiness in Maya. 
Why don't we why don't we try Guru Maharaj's way? For a little while, why don't we try singing Bani as the ultimate medicine? Because the world might leave you empty, adhura, but the Guru is pura. Maharaj says, Taap, all the all the fever, paap, all the uh, paap that we do, all the sins, submit rog, all the diseases go, sital man paya. My mind has become peaceful. And Guru, Guru, Pura Aradhya, Sagala Dukh Gaya, Rakhna Hare Rakhya, Apni Kar Maya. He's blessed us by doing his kirpa upon us, allowed us to sing his bani.
understand the Bani's medicine for us, we won't complain about it. People don't really complain about medicine. It might not taste nice, but then when they get better, they don't complain about it. But when we see it as a burden, when we see it as a ritual, then we do complain about it. People say, oh, I don't know if I should just have, have in the morning. I got a message this week from a guy in Mexico. says he wants to be a Sikh. Videos dekh dekh ke, ایک گورا میکسکو بیٹھے بیٹھے کہنا میں سکھ بننا انہیں ای میل کی تھی کہنا ہوں میں سویرے جب جب جس آپ پارٹ کرنا چاہنا کی میں کرنا میں کہا واہ ہیز آس کی میاں ہی گوز آن اے ساٹھ جب جس آب ان دے مورننگ اے سام گائی ان میکسکو فگرڈ آو تا گنانے جیس بانی اس میڈیسن فر ہم ہی شو سٹار ڈوئنگ ان دے مورننگ وہ ایس رونگ ویڈ آس وہ ایس رونگ ان دے پی ویڈا کم ٹو گرد آر Take this Bani's Naam, Amrit Naam Thakur Ka Payo, Jis Ka Sabas Adharo. In this Guru Granth Sahib Ji, Maharaj says there's three things they offer you. In this Thali of Guru Granth Sahib Ji, right at the end in Munavdi, Maharaj says, I give you three things. Thali Vich Tin Vastu Payo, Sat Santokh Vicharo. So I give you three things, I give you truth, I give you contentment, Kushiya, Santokhpana, and then they say, Vichar. Ultimate Brahm Vichar. And they say, what's the thing that holds all these three things together? Amrit Naam Thakur Ka Payo Jis Ka Sabas Adharo. It holds it all together. Kyo Sat Naam. Santokh Naam. And Vichar about Naam. All these things are about Naam. Sat Naam, we already know. Deho Naam Santokhiya Uttre Man Ki Pukh. And then finally Mara says, This Bani is the ultimate naam. But Bani is the ultimate vichar. It's the ultimate vichar. Sabte utam prabh ki katha. Naam sunat dard dukh latha. Bani is katha of Vahe Guru Zoh. Guru Maharaj is explaining to us how to get there. All these things are about naam. And Maharaj is saying, this is what they're offering to us. So why do we want to eat that? Why wouldn't we want truth or contentment and ultimate vichar? 
It is medicine for us. It's what we need. Maharaj is not giving us anything which is a, is a burden upon us. Maharaj is giving us the ultimate medicine to get better. And if as children we get told that Bani is medicine, is good for us, it'll help us, then as adults we will re- keep on reading it. It should be part of our routine. Every six routine should be Japji Sahib Parna. It's like something, you know, like waking up, you brush your teeth. Bani should be so normal. It should be something like unique about a sick. Every Sikh should read at least Japji Sahib in the morning. Make it so much part of your normal life that you can't really have breakfast until you've done it. To see Svere or Tukena, try and have breakfast without brushing your teeth. Something won't feel right. If you, can have breakfast, you can't have breakfast without brushing your teeth, why can't we have the same experience of Japji Sahib? That I will not eat my breakfast until I've done Japji Sahib. We should tell ourselves the same thing. This is not right. We haven't earned this food yet. We say, Dada Dada Ek Hai Sabko Devan Har. He's giving us his food, but we can't read his Bani. No. Make this part of our routine, and you will see the change in your own life because it is medicine. So see, Ape Dekh Loge, the Fark, the difference of Bani will come up because Mara tells us, Ki Naam is the Bani. And what will happen, Mara explains the next two Pankti, what will happen to us if we start to do part? Sonate Puneet Kahate Pavit Sat Guru Rahya Par Pure Mara says by listening to Bani, Sunte, Sunte means to listen, Pavit, Pavit means Pavitr, purified. Sunte, by listening to Bani we become purified. By listening to Kirtan we become purified. How, and I said, listening is active listening. By sitting there and absorbing what is being said. By looking at it and seeing it as a truth. To accept it as a truth. The Guru Maharaj is not saying anything else to us. This is Prav ki Bani. Sach ki Nanak, Sach ki Bani, Nanak Aakhe. Sach Sunaisi, Sach ki Bela. This is the time for truth. Maharaj has got no time to waste. They're telling us as straight as truth. How to find Vaigur inside ourselves. There's no hidden meanings in Sikhi. You know, in Bani there are, there is deeper depth meanings, but Maharaj is making Bani as obvious as they can, where to find God inside ourselves. Mana Mandar, Tane Ves Gandar, Kathi Tirath Nava. In Japji Sahib Maharaj says, that Tirath Tap Deya Daddaan, Jeko Pave Til Kaman. Sunnya, Mannya, Man Kita Pao, Antar Gat Tirath Marna. This Bani, helps us to go inside and wash at the tirat inside us. If you go to Harmandar Sahib, you can go around the outside, but you can't go inside. There's only one way to go inside, to Darshan Udiyari. You have to get his Darshan from here and then go in and you will find God inside you. We have to leave the outside world of the Parkarama. There's no Dwari. We have to leave the outside world and go inside from the 10th door and experience why we're inside ourselves. Guru Maharaj made that Gurdwara. So much meaning just in, in that one building. Taran Taran Sahib is a big Gurdwara. It's got a big Sarovar. But there's no Gurdwara in the Sarovar. But Harmandar Sahib, the, the Gurdwara is in the Sarovar because Harmandar Eho Sarir hai. They're teaching us how the body works. We have to go in, leave the outside world and go in. Sunnya, by listening to Bani really carefully, Maharaj says, Sunte Pavit. So, why Guru? Sunate Puneet. Puneet means to be purified as well. Sorry, my, my mistake. Puneet means pavit, same as pun, Pavit. Means purified. Sunate Puneet. We'll become purified by just listening to Bani. Because it will help us to wash the tears inside ourselves. Kehate Pavit. By reading Bani, by speaking it out loud. You know, sometimes you're reading Bani in your mind. Because you're trying to keep the, trying to keep the noise down. Don't want to wake anybody else up. But if you get the chance, say it out loud. Open your mouth. Read out the Bani. Your tongue will become Pavitr by reading out Bani. The whole, your ears will become Pavitr because now they're listening to Bani as well. Before they were just saying it, you were saying it in your head and you were concentrating upon it. Now you're saying it and you can hear it as well. Double the benefit. So Mara is telling us how to do part, how to do Anand Sahib. Mara says, listen to what you're reading and say it out as well. And also the meaning of the word Kehate Pavit here also means to Katha. The people that are doing Katha, the people that are listening to Katha, Prabhaki Bani. If we listen to expl- explanation of Prabhaki Katha, then we are being purified in that way as well. Sometimes you sit in Katha and you're an Anand. 
Bani is being read, but it's being read in a different way. Don't think that when a Sant does Tarna, or when a Sant is doing Katha, or somebody is doing Katha, that it's not Bani. We have a very low understanding of what Kachi Bani is. Kachi Bani is something that is attaching you to Kach, falsehood. But what is attaching you to such is also such. So when Guru Maharaj is reading out Bani, it's Sachi Bani. But when someone is doing Katha of Sachi Bani, then it's Sachi Katha. It's not Kachi Katha. And when they sing a Tarna to you, which is not of Gurbani, but it's still attaching you to Guru, then it's not Kachi Tarna. It's not Kachi Bani. It's still truth in it. But obviously it's not the Uttam Bani of Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj. But remember Sahasana Ji, people had written down that Bani before they came and brought it to Guru Sahib. Bhagat Lochan, he had written down his stuff and then it was included in Guru Granth Sahib Ji. So there are Mahapuruks out there, there are beings of very high spirituality that write down their thoughts about Guru. And when they write it down, it doesn't mean that it's false. If it's saying the truth, then it is true. If it's saying falsehood, then it's false. To have that Parak, our Guru gives us so much money to understand what is truth and what is not truth. So here, we must listen to Bani, we must say it out, listen to Katha, listen to Kirtan, all these things will purify us. By speaking Katha, even if you talk to someone about Katha, people think that if I speak, I'll lose my Bhakti. But it's not true. We had yesterday in Hounslow High Street, if you're in a good, if you're speaking to someone about Sikhi, that is also Katha. You're being purified by that Katha. Sip for us, a Sikh to tell another Sikh about Bani is a very big pun. By Gurdash it says, that is equal to five ta- seven times putting gold on Harbandar Sahib. Imagine if you put seven times gold on Harbandar Sahib. That's the amount of pun you can get just by explaining the one body to somebody. So obviously, there's a lot of fun in actually reading out Bani and explaining it to people. So, Katha Karni, explaining Sikhi, spreading Sikhi is a big blessing. Yesterday in Hounslow High Street, after so many weeks of starting it, every week, uh, Street Parchar, we had six people there yesterday. Benji was there as well. Six people doing Katha on the street. Singh Sahib was there as well. Talking to people about Sikhi. Sunte Puneet Kehate Pavit. We will get the benefit of that. It will purify us to talk about Vaheguru. So, Mother says, Satgur Rahaya Parapure. The Satgur Vaheguru in the form of Gunadeji Ji Maharaj, Rahaya Parapure. He is inside every single thing. Pur. Pur means also inside everything. Par, pur, parya hoya, purya hoya, inside every single thing. Why does this matter here? Because you can read Bani wherever you are. You could be being tortured and you could be saying Waheguru. You could be in the most posh hotel in the world and you can still sit on the floor and read Waheguru. Because he is everywhere. Doesn't matter where you travel, he's still there. Some people think that all oh, Sikhi is for the Gurdwara. No. Satgur Rahaya Par Pure. He's everywhere. Don't waste your time. Sometimes I meet some Sikhs now into Sikhi, only a couple of months of Amrit. And whenever I see them, they're always reading Bani. And I think, wow. See, when I came into Sikhi, it was like if you got two religious people sitting, oh, it's not so good. People were religious when I got into Sikhi 10 to 13 years ago, but they weren't that religious. It was still a little bit, of, bit uncool to be too religious. Now it's cool to be religious. Now you see people reading Bani all the time, and no one says anything to them. Because it's good to be religious. Now I remember that some of the people when I got into Sikhi were saying, oh, come on, do you become a bit too religious now, bro? Calm down a bit. Yeah. So the thing is, the world is getting better. The world is getting better because now we're understanding, no, we should be doing part all the time. And this is what's happening, Satgur Rahaya Parpure. By listening to Bani, by speaking Bani, by saying it in our mouth, then we will be absorbed in Guru as well. The other meaning of that is we'll be absorbed into Him. Satgur Rahaya Parpure. Satgur will be Parpur inside us. One meaning is he's everywhere. The other meaning is that he'll be Parpur inside us. The person will become Rabda Roop. Because every single second they're jumping in Wahiguru's name. That means they will become God's form on earth. What is the difference between God and the saint? Mara said there isn't one. Har har jan dui ek hai. Bib bichar ka chana hai. Jalte objatrang jo jalhi bikhe samahe. They say a wave comes out of the water, it goes back into the water, it's the same. The saint and, and Wahiguru are the same. So by listening to Bani, by saying it, it will become purified. As you become purified, the second meaning of this Pankti is that Satguru will become Parpur inside us. 
and then he will be acting we won't be acting who is that we our we is the lower we the actions of calm grow do mohankar they will calm down and the sat santog daya taram the right guns sab gun tere main nahi koi look look at that word that pankti could be written another way sab gun tere all good things are yours when main nahi koi when the main is not there when the ego goes out the way then all the qualities come exist in the same way for us if we jump his naam we listen to his bani then he will become pargat inside us and the ego of ours that says everything is about me will leave then mara says bit next next pankti akri pankti of his body we finish off with this binavant nanak gur charan lage vaje anhad ture na gunwale ji maharaj in the form of guru amar das ji they say to us binavant nanak binavant is like beinti karni now guru amar das ji said i do a beinti to vahe guru they have seen the power of anan sahib They've just written out the power of an ansar that it can take away all your pains, all your diseases. It can make you purified. And Mara says, "I do a bainti now to my guru. I be do a bainti to my guru. They doing a bainti to Guru Angad Dev Ji. They doing a bainti to Guru Binvant Nanak Gur Charan Lage. They fall at Guru Angad Dev Ji's feet. We fall at Guru Granth Sahib Ji's feet. We say, 'Why Guru? We are Nanak in this sentence. We say, Maharaj, I do a bainti to you, Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj.'" binvant nanak gur charan lag gaya for my guru's charan what is my guru's charan gurbani when we reading our part we touching our guru's charan you want to touch guru nanak's charan start reading japji sahib this is charan of guru nanak ji maharaj when we start to fall at their feet and we lower ourselves ki maharaj i'm nothing you are everything main kuch nahi hai ga you are everything when we lower ourselves in that way to our guru we don't read bani and we say we great We read Bani. We say, "Maras, thank you for this Bani." When we lower ourselves, we get the ego out of the way. Maras says, "Bidvanta Nanak, Gore Charan Lagge." As we lower ourselves, then we will stay attached to our Guru's Charan. In one way, he's at Maras. I hold on to my Guru's feet, but in another way, the more lower we go, the closer we are to our Guru's feet. Hasti Sirjo Ankas hai, Aharin Jo Sirde, Mantan Aage Raak ke, Ubi Save Kare. यो गुरमुख आप निवारी है सब राज रिश्त काले हाउ वी गेट द हाईएस्ट राज मन जीते जग जीते आवर माइंड विल बी इन कंट्रोल एज वी अटैच टू आवर गुरुस फीट आवर माइंड विल कम इनटू कंट्रोल गुरु दिठे त मन साधारय गुरु इन सत्य बलवंत की वार जैसे व्हेन आई सी माय गुरु देन माय माइंड बिकम्स वेरी काम साधारण सुधर जाता है इट बिकम्स बेटर बिकॉज़ नाउ is go hold the guru so as we hold our guru's charan we will become purified our mind will come into control and we will stay attached to our guru's charan we won't leave his charan we won't leave his charan i then and what will happen to us if we stay in his charan if we stay in his charan we stay in that naam kamai in that pagti mara says vaje anhad ture ture he means horns bugles it's not ture ture is is, is a uh, sant ki tur that's dust this is ture with tatta ture is actually the like trumpets what they talking about is anhad shabad there is supposed to be music that can be played everywhere music that can, can be heard everywhere divine music and one of the musical instruments that you hear when you hear this divine music is the horns the trumpets you know when they say like when a great king comes in india when they show a king walks into the darbar then they have those horns that play out yeah announcing somebody the anhad ture what does that mean the music of wahi guru the divine music that can be heard if we elevate ourselves spiritually that's like a sign now that we're close to god it's that like his coming is being announced to us the same way that we'd walk into a if you we were in the darbar and you would hear the horns going you think he's coming in now in the same way when we hear that divine music that means he's not far away now vaje anhad ture anhad means the unstruck melody not the one that is being struck here or struck here but the one that is not being struck but can still be heard divine music played by nobody it's all around us imagine how deaf we are imagine how blind we are we think we got eyes we can't see anything we can't see the truth we think we got ears we can't even hear the divine music all around us 
Mother says we are bare, really. The only way to cure ourselves of these inefficiencies, the deficiencies, is through Naam. And the Mother says when this happens, when we fall out of our Guru's charan, we will hear that divine music. We will get to this Anhad Shabad, which is Gyan Khand. And from Gyan Khand, then Saram Khand, Karam Khand, and then Sach Khand. Not too far then. Maharaji Kirpa Hovegi, if we start to stick to Bani, we will get blessed. We will hear those bugles, we will hear those horns, and we will know that there's music everywhere. And Maharaj will bless us to spiritually progress. Imagine when we talk to people outside, I was talking to this atheist in Cambridge this week, with this huge prasad in Cambridge. He said to me, What's the benefit of going to a Sikhi? I said, What's the benefit of a blind person getting sight? You can say the same way, What's the benefit? If this stuff is all around us, why not see it? If you can't even see the truth, why not open our eyes? If you can't even hear the truth, why not open our ears? Why stay deaf? Why not enlighten ourselves? There's a benefit, isn't it? Access to more information. Maharaj is offering us all of this if you go to the Bani. So we've got to the end of Pani Bani Katha. I'm sure in the last two and a half years I've made beyond the beyond mistake, especially on the Bani side. Loads on that side, in the Katha as well. But loads on the Bani side. I ask your forgiveness. Please bless me that my Santya can improve as well. That my Bani can improve as well. And that all the people that have served on this stage for the last two years to do your seva in terms of Kirtan, Katha, Simran, they all can continue doing that seva. Ula Chukha Dikha Bhakshin Ji, Gaj Gaj Ji Fateh Akhani, Vahe Guru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vahe Guru Ji Ki Fateh. Vahe Guru, Vahe Guru, Vahe Guru, Vahe Guru, Vahe Guru, Vahe Guru,